May this day be full of joy, laughter and fun. A day to share in Ashley and Robert's happiness and delight. The fields of our paths Feelings part our ways Keeping us close but it's strange now Dreams holding us closer Well, the first encounter, it was all down to Ashley's mum, Moira, and Robert's auntie. They roped in a young Ashley and Robert to add some glamour to their float for the Scottish Week Parade. <laughs> there was no love at first sight between Aladdin and Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> they were only five after all, but according to Auntie Kath, they were half acute. <laughs> They met up again some years later through their good pals Jonathan and Kimberly. His wit, charm and cheeky chat-up lines must have worked. <laughs> That's what he said. Because she agreed to an invitation out to the cinema and as they said, they just clicked. And you are shades of grey Living day to day Even when we're free It's true Happy in the relationship, they started saving so they could get a house together and they moved into their new home on the 15th of April 2015. And Robert had another surprise for Ashley that day. He bought the ring, put it in the box and put it into a drawer in the new kitchen. But Ashley wasn't making it very easy for him. He kept asking her to have a look in a specific drawer, but she was having none of it. She did eventually open the right drawer and saw the box. Just as Robert went down on one knee with a ring in hand, and she did say yes eventually, but not until she made a feel of him for a wee minty, as she says. <laughs> With apologies to Robbie Burns and to people fed in sooth, my speech I'll try to give in verse with some Doric coming out of my mouth. A warm welcome to each and every in, both family and friends. A marriage help us celebrate We I think that it means. The October day Ashley was born, a beauty or a queen, and mighty she didn't linger. I cradled her sat in a big hospital chair and for that day, she had her da wrapped through her finger. But let's get back to July. The year was 94. It was a Scottish week parade. The first date you two had together, mech just before this marriage was made. That day, Robert was dressed as Aladdin, and Ashley was guised as Alice. In's gone six, the other nearly seven, a barren maid in heaven. Some weekends you two would bide with us, you've been out on the tune. Breakfast on the bacon's fairly curling. Robert's in the toilet upstairs, <laughs> his stomach's fairly hurling. <laughs> One evening, <coughs> Robert came to our house and we spoke outside man to man. He asked for my permission to ask you for your hand. And so here we are today, with dart and plaid and twined round bathe your hands, your vows we love you have pledged. You've exchanged golden wedding bands. And Ashley, when you're back at school, new class, first day, first lesson, you'll have to tell your class that you're now Mrs. Essen. <laughs> we are father's pride, my duty's done. And I call all in this room, I charge you to all stand with me and toast the bride and groom. <laughs> bride and groom. I, Robert Essen. I, Robert Essen. Accept you. Accept you. Ashley Buchan. Ashley Buchan. In marriage. In marriage. As my wife. As my wife. And place the ring on her finger. Thank you.
Thank you. Ashley, please say your vows to Robert and repeat after me. I, Ashley Buchan. I, Ashley Buchan. Accept you. Accept you. Robert Essen. Robert Essen. In marriage. In marriage. As my husband. As my husband. Place the ring. Wait, I said Gent earlier. Gently on the finger. There we go. I'd no, like to hold hands and stare into each other's eyes. <laughs> Do you, Robert and Ashley, in the presence of your family and friends, promise to love, honour and protect each other for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others and be faithful to each other as long as you both shall live. I do. Robert and Ashley, you have chosen to marry and have pledged your love, respect and commitment for each other. You have promised to stand by each other whatever your lives together may bring. And following the declarations made before me and in the presence of these witnesses and guests, it gives me great pleasure, Robert and Ashley, to declare you legally married and pronounce you husband and wife. And as you seal the moment, I ask everyone here present, family and friends, the immediate circle of love within which you dwell, to treasure the memory and the happiness of this special moment, and to join with me in wishing Ashley and Robert happiness and success in their future lives together from this moment on. Robert, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> On behalf of my wife and I, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Ashley wouldn't be the person she is today without the support and guidance of the rest of our family. So I'd like to thank each and every one of them. From our mother Moira, who's looking amazing today. I'd also like to thank my family for helping me become the person I am today. And I couldn't have asked for a better upbringing. To my amazing mum, I will always be your favourite son no matter what. And my dad, like all dads, for getting me into things like sports and that. I'm pretty sure at a young age when he cut me down some golf clubs, even he didn't pinch me cracking a drive off the landing through the front door glass. <laughs> I was honoured when Robert asked me to be his best man and I immediately started plotting how to embarrass him, which isn't easy. Seriously, you could not paint a red fist on that man. <laughs> uh, he was strutting about Warsaw as a woman and it didn't even faze him. <laughs> Big Bobby also likes a dram and on many occasions you will see him in Mambo's or Deja carrying out the famous lawnmower or chainsaw dance moves. <laughs> It was these sensational moves that caught Ashley's eye one night in Deja Vu. Eventually, Robert gave in to Ashley and they became a couple.
Now to the serious part of the speech. I need to say about my beautiful wife, Ashley. From the day Ashley and I started seeing each other, I can honestly say she's changed my life for the better. I have been lucky to be able to marry one of my best friends today, and now she's stuck waking up, waking up to this beautiful face every morning. <laughs> she's done an uh, absolutely amazing job organising everything of the day. I'm sure you'll all agree with me, everything looks absolutely incredible. Now, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with Mr. and Mrs. Essen. For the final toast, I'd like you all be upstanding as I toast my beautiful wife, Ashley Essen. There's no better way to live on this earth than to be friends. Friends who will always love and stand by each other till life's end. Friends who will share their lives together through good times and bad and who will bring joy and comfort to each other when times are sad. Friends who will always stand together and stand strong to help share life's burdens, to help each other carry on through the tears, through the pain, through the sun and through the rain. No matter what happens to them, as friends, they will always remain. And so it is that your friendship now has grown into love and into a marriage, that, into a love that is so beautiful to see. So may your love and your friendship, as you begin your life together, last you for an eternity. And as friends, may you both forever be. When the one whose hand you're holding is the one who holds your heart, when the one whose eyes you gaze into gives you hopes and dreams their start, when the one you think of first and last is the one who holds you tight and the things you plan together make the whole world seem just right. When the one whom you believe in puts their faith and trust in you, you've found the one and only one you'll share your whole life through. Spending quite a bit of time with them, it's clear to see that Robert and Ashley do make a very, very good couple. They're in love. Time won't stop, so gonna get on the ride. Twisting and turning through life. No matter how rough it gets, I'll get by. Home moves with me where I roam. It's in every dream I make. bring me something new I guess another part of my best man duty is to give some wedding advice but I don't really have any you'd have to ask my wife <laughs> I do however wish you both all the happiness in the future so if you could please be upstanding and join me in a toast the new Mr. and Mrs. Essen thank you A marriage is a promise to our hearts we glad to mark. A promise to be tender, to help, to give and take. A marriage is a promise to be kind, to understand, to be thoughtful and considerate, to be fair and no demand. A marriage is a promise to share our life together, felt with love, and meant to be kept it like yon forever.